Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I'm going to show you how to make some summer glitter globes. In this video I'm going to show you how to make these really cute summer globes. I found some of the little characters at the craft store and I call them glitter globes because I put glitter in them and it swishes around around our little figure and then adds glitter around the jar. So the first thing we need to work on is our base and the final product is going to look like this. So you cut the base out of styrofoam. Now because I have thinner styrofoam I need to cut two of these to build it up but you can get a thicker styrofoam um, and just cut it once. I have a stencil here that had a whole bunch of different circles. I had made this and sold it in my Etsy store. I'm not sure if there's any left or not. You can check it out. It's called the Scrap Time Shop. And I drew in my circle and now I am using the pen blade to cut it. And this is a really great little knife. Um, it comes with different, you can buy different pen blades with different um, blades. This is sort of just the pointed flat one. They have a really good blade, which makes cutting these circles nice and easy. I just cut all the way around. I think I'm back at the beginning. So you can see how easy it was for me to cut that with my pen blade. And then all I have to do is this and the blade is gone. So they're very handy. And then the blade is encased in there so it's not going to come out and point you. So now I have two circles. Just put that away. So I just need to glue them together. You can use any glue, it's just styrofoam. So. And I'm just going to glue them sort of like this. Now you'll notice that I have spaces missing in here. That'll be fine because we'll just sort of fill it in with our filling. So what I like to do is um, use paint to um, as my glue in this case. So if you were doing a different color, whatever color decoration you're going to put on it, you could always paint in that color. So I'm just putting a nice thick layer of paint. So I have my paint, I'm going to put it on top of a piece of paper. And then I found this, it's called Mini Flowers. It was um, at the art supply store, or craft store. And I'm just going to put it on nice and thick. And then once you have the top on, you can hold on to it and put more around the edges. And that's how those edges get filled in. They're also sort of hidden, so um, it'll be hidden by the cap, so it won't really matter. So you just, like that, you can even just push it in. And then we let it dry, or you can let it dry and then glue it onto your lid, or you can glue it onto your lid and then um, let it dry, either or. 
But that is the first stage, is preparing our base for our glitter globe. The next step is to add on our little figure or item that you want to put in your globe. So I found this cute little mushroom house. Now this has a bit of weight to it. So I want to use a nice heavy glue. So I'm using um, matte super heavy gel from Liquitex to glue this on. And so I just get some and put it on the base. So I put a nice coat of it on there and then I'm going to place it in the middle because you want to make sure that your glow will be able to get over it. If you put it to the side and the mushroom was sticking out, then you might have an issue. So sort of around the middle and push it down. And that's all you need to do. However, we now want that to dry. Because it is a heavy item, I want it to stick to my base. So I need to give it a long time to dry before I be able to put it into my globe and put it upside down. So we're just going to let that sit. And then once it's completely dry, we'll come back and finish off the globe. I let my glue dry overnight and now you can see it is sticking to my base and the test too is to pull it over and make sure it will stick like that and it won't fall off. So now that it's nice and dry we can add some glitter to our jar. I'm using um, mason jars for my jar and I have a couple different types of glitter I got from the craft store. One is like a chunky little stars and one is a fine glitter. And I like to mix the two. Now for this, these little glitter globes, you don't need too much glitter like you would um, if you were doing snow globes. You put a lot more uh, snow in there. So you basically just want to cover the bottom. If you do put too much glitter in, you can always take it out. It all depends on how high up your image is because you don't want it to be like buried in glitter. So I think that's fine, just the base like that. Now I'm going to put my little mushroom in and I want him to be away from like the words on the jar. So I'm focusing him more that way. Screw on our lid. And I can just sort of coat the jar with some glitter. Now I'm looking at it and there's not much glitter in there. So I actually want more for this one. So I'm going to open it up, take them out. Some of my glitter came with him, but I think this one needs more glitter. So we'll try it again. That's it's probably nice. It has some little blue glitter for like sky. And then we have our little glitter snow globe. So these are really great um, if you're out with the kids and you're looking for an easy little activity. The kids can pick out a little image. Make sure that um, it fits within the opening of the jar. And then just put it together. And when you line all of these up on your windowsill, um, it makes a nice sparkly little display. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and like our video. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scrap Time Videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.